welcome guys i am sachin in the last tutorial uh, we have seen android layouts how to use the layouts in the android linear layout relative layout and other layouts also now in this tutorial uh, we will see how to create the views from the java code in the last tutorial we have created this text view 1 this text view 2 this text view 3 so now we will create uh, such text view and uh, other views also uh, let's uh, let's go through the other views also so there are other views like button toggle button uh, check box check text view then plain text like date number so there are list of the things okay uh, so these things uh, we can generate from the xml like this text view and also uh, we can achieve the same things uh, from the java code also uh, so let's try for one text view and one image view from the java code so what i will do i will delete this one i will delete this background color also okay now this is one linear layout and in this linear layout only one text view so let's see the output of this okay now you can see this is the one linear layout and in this linear layout only one text view output is visible now so now i will add one text view below this and one image below this so before that i have added one logo.png in the drawable folder so now how to take the reference of this image in the java code that also we will see okay so go to java on create meta okay so now we will take the reference of this linear layout because we are adding the views for this linear layout and this is the existing now there are two scenarios uh, we are adding the views to the existing layout or we are creating the new layout and we are adding that layout to the our uh, content uh, so that time we need to create the layout with the new operator but here as uh, it is already existing here we will take the reference of this linear layout just this linear layout linear layout is equal to okay so if you are creating like new and passing this as object so we are passing this uh, parameter uh, because it's accepting get context get activity as we are in this main activity class and it is extending this app compare activity so it is activity so we are passing this as object so we will not use new operator here because we are not creating we are using the existing so we will take the reference of the existing linear layout so for that uh, reference we need to have id so let's create the id id give the name main activity linear layout so how to take this reference in the java code uh, just specify linear layout uh, that object reference name and use this method find view by id now it's taking the integer as a parameter so this integer r dot id dot give that name main activity so this name is coming from here so whenever we are adding some uh, id or we are adding any image audio in the drawable folder or we are we have added any layout xml in the layout so we can get like uh, r.id or r.drawable.logo or r.layout.activity underscore main so in this way we can get the things uh, in the java code uh, so this is the id uh, we have taken so it's asking me incompatible types so we need to cast it so just click on this uh, red symbol and cast it okay so this way we have taken the reference of this linear layout in the java code 
okay so now let's create the text view text view text view i will just give the member variable this reference variable name as a text view to i will use new text view because we are getting new text view pass this as a parameter and set the text view text set text i will specify text view to generated from java code okay and also there are many other methods which we saw in the xml in the last tutorial text view to dot set we can set the color we can set uh, a height we can set the hint also we can specify the text style text size so all these things we can set from here for example we will set the color so set text color i will use color dot trade okay so this is the text view we have created now create the image view Similarly, image view is equal to new image view pass this as a parameter and now this is the image you created but which image will be visible for this view so we want to use this logo.png so this image will be uh, should be available for this view so how to get the reference of this image so image view dot set now here also we can see there are three methods uh, like set image resource it is uh, taking integer as a parameter second one is the set image uri it is uh, taking uri as a parameter and third one is the image bitmap so if there are some input stream uh, image input stream uh, you can get that uh, input stream image bitmap and you can set that bitmap object in this method okay so we will uh, discuss about this image uri and image bitmap in the upcoming sessions as of now we will take the reference of this logo.png so how to get the reference of this logo.png from the drawable folder so just r dot as it is in the drawable folder go to this drawable dot you can see logo so extension do not worry automatically it's getting page okay so you can see this image also here at the left side okay now add these two views to this linear layout just copy this there is the method add view so add this text view to here copy this add this image view the second okay now let's run and check wow so this is the text view to generate it from the java code we have set the color red so it is appeared here and below that this is the image view we are seeing so in this way we have we have generated the image view and text view so uh, there are different different views we are uh, we can generate uh, from java code also so dynamically we will generate this and we can append to the existing layout uh, so also for example there is existing image view in the xml and uh, you want to replace the image so uh, from the java code you just take the image view reference and uh, just uh, use the set image resource or set image URI or set image bitmap and you can just set that object and dynamically you can change the uh, image of that image view so this is the advantage uh, you can achieve from the java code also uh, now regarding this view we will see some uh, other things like creating the layout and adding that layout to the content so in the upcoming session we will go through that also 
and regarding generating as of now this is sufficient uh, if you have any comments please post your comment uh, we will discuss on the same okay thank you